time guys and navigating through this. Oh, yeah. I just have a quick question. Yep. Do you want us to pop on the No, the basketball team, I'd like you to pick, pop on the desktop or pop on your um, home drive. Or if you've got a um, pen drive, just take a copy of the whole thing for you. Yeah. Um, one of these looks like a newer version. If I've only got the old version, copy. Yeah. Am I going to be able to access that also? What are you talking about new version? I think that I've never seen that icon, so I don't have oh, that. Oh, 2010. Yeah, we don't have that. Quite nice, because the resources that I've set up, I originally wrote for 2003. Okay. No, but yeah. I won't even be able to open that file. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you would need to, um, but that's not a problem. That's actually a backup copy for the oh, students today. But right. all the instructions are there for the students to make. Yeah, so that's a good point that um, when I did do all this work, I did it on 2003 mm. and I did it last year, we're now 2010. Yeah. So if you wouldn't mind opening the basketball, not opening it, copy and paste it really so that you've got it open now. Don't open my version. And of course, I just have to click enable content. So you may not be familiar with 2010, but we'll have a little bit of a chat about what we see here. So, um, open. yeah, open up the basketball team and you've got a copy on E. So as long as you get a copy on your H drive, you'll be fine to open that. Is that beautiful? Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Hey, you've got 2003. Huh? On my mind, yeah. Yeah. So you're on 2003. No, I don't want to be. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah. This one's this one's already yeah, locked on. Yeah, definitely. Is that one locked on? Um, that's two thousand. I don't know why that. Well, hang on. <coughs> it could yeah. be this road, um, actually. Well, I'll be the torch. I'll be the torch. No, I'm too tired here. You're too tired. I'm just going to move it. I'm eighty-two thousand. I'm just going to have a look at the yeah, yeah, That one's old enough. Okay, it's not a problem because you'll still be able to do the same things anyway. This actually looks more familiar than that. Yeah, well, one of my. That looks like a Word document. Yeah, <coughs> it's quite different. Oh no, it's it's very good. Good. three as well. But it's 2003. How do you check the version actually? Where do you go? Um, oh, you did, it came, when it came up, it's okay, it came it's came up. Oh, yeah. so you've got the right. So I've got the other two T on this one. I don't actually think it's a big problem. You better off you go into programs and open it first. And then I'll be fine. Well, I won't have 2010 in high school, so I'm quite happy to stay on the old version. If you want to open 2010 and then open the file. Okay. Alright. Just thinking. Okay, so this is um, this is the database that comes with that unit planner that's, that you've taken a copy of. And um, just really to start to get you familiar before we do anything else. Um, you'll see objects along the left hand side there. Now depending on whether you're on 2010 or 2003, you've got an option of turning them on or on or off. So just be aware there that sometimes you just have the table show and sometimes you need to click that down arrow and go all the way to all objects. Okay. Can I just, before we start, get you to double click into Magic Bounces table and there's a table of information there. We can look at that and then we'll start Magic. from there. So it's the name of the table. So you're right oh, yeah. there. Mm -hmm. I don't use yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or all these other data. Yeah, so they'll be able to make a comparison. <coughs> not, not miles. So we've got a file. Yeah, I don't know if that you see the picture. So I've only over here. I've got this. This is a 2000 one. Oh, that's from 2003. I also found yeah, it out in 2010. Yeah, from 2003. What is this type? Yeah, I think I'll get that off. Yeah. It can probably like measure if we just get you into pay anyway. Um, default to 2T. Yeah, mine defaulted to the one with the head voice. I can't, I can go over there. Yeah, I'll just, um, I'm just looking for it now. Is this you can't even put the picture here. Um, if you go through the programs and you can open up the yeah. 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 so yeah. yeah. Does it have different words as well? Oh, it does seem like Because that says new up there.
idea, and let's use auto number. Mm. Maybe we should try it. Mm. It is actually quite similar anyway, but yeah, if you've got 2010, I think it would be the initiation mm. date. But I'm just wondering, you have used to do time, time, you are here, you've got to do a new auto number each time. No, but the new, the new actually is just ready to put in, it's going to go out, but it's not too bad, it's just here. I don't think it's going to go out, it's just here. No, because you've got to take auto number. Yeah, it's an auto number. It's an auto number. So you're happy you've got 2010, we just need to get you started there. Just once this is when you start. Hey, I'm glad there's only a few of you. I know. We're just beginning. Oh, we're just beginning. We won't make no talk about that. Um, we'll stop. Oh, I've been around. Well, I think they just need to open that one. Oh, and they didn't have the program and need it, and they had to install it to do um, iPod. No, iPod. I want to open. And now it's all about how they told. So when you click it, your tool just comes up. All right. Now just while we're waiting, um, all the and we need to get Yahoo. Just looking at what's in front of you, what does it remind you of? Spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. Perfect. It was down to our wanted. So in a way, the database is very similar to a spreadsheet, but we can obviously do more within our database. You've got it on that, it's perfect. Okay. Um, and in the, in the real world, what a lot of companies do is they basically have information in a spreadsheet and there'll be a point where they'll go, oh, it's getting quite large, we might put it onto a database. And that's quite an easy process, but that's more in the advanced. Okay. Alright, so the data is all within the table. And... Do get sold. 
how we get our spam really on our emails. So that would be a really good discussion point with your students and I'll put that actually in the planner. Okay, so what we've, decided, what we've discovered by looking in front of you now at your database is the information is all in a table. Okay, and it's similar to word tables, it's similar to a spreadsheet table. And also the common um, expression of a field and a record is exactly the same as well. So the field would be something like first name, last name, and it's very similar to a column header. And a record will be all the information for one person, in other words, a whole row. So if we look in front of you now at the first person, and it's actually in player ID order, because I did a sort, everything going across the row is one whole record. And I think I took the primary key off, let me just check, I'm going to talk about that later. Each database is ideal that you have what's called a primary key, and that's a unique key. At the moment I haven't forced a unique key there, but the unique key would be the order number, which is the player ID. But it could be, it doesn't have to be a player ID, what, what else could be a unique field if we're looking at that particular data? There'd be something that would be unique to every person there. Any ideas? Phone number. Phone number. Yeah. Right. Not if they're related. Sorry? Not if they're related. No, that's a good point. So if you're at a doctor's surgery, more than one person mm. is going to have the same phone number. So then sometimes they normally have a customer number, which That's is right. Really yeah. fine. So you could generate your own customer number or you could select a auto number so the system would do it for you. But so that if, if something was a unique key, does that mean you couldn't have two values the same? Yeah. And you need two records. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. yeah. Especially when you start getting into relational databases where you have two or more tables and you're connecting the information. It just wouldn't work because it has to be unique. The primary is unique. Okay, so the first thing you'd be doing if you were planning a database is basically looking at the information you've got there. And you'd look at the field names. And it's a very good um, idea not to have any spaces, which seems a little bit strange. Um, what they do suggest is you put capital letters for each word, and you'll see there I've got first name. And you'll see that there in front of you. Um, so if you come to your screens now, can you see at the top, they're the field names, and it looks a bit strange that they've got no spaces, but we can actually change that by going into the field property. And I'll have a look at that, we'll look at that in just a moment. Yeah. Okay, what we're going to do, we're looking at what we're seeing in front of us now, which is our, um, our data view. We're going to look at it in design view because behind that is the way it was set up. Now to do that you'll have to click on your view key at the top left, the wee down arrow where it's got view, and come down to design view. I'm going to do that first. I might just leave you to do that on your own there at the moment. Now in design view, these were the things that you'd think about when you were designing a database. And really they're just like column headings in a table. You'll see actually the player ID has a key on it, so that has got the primary key there, and that's saying it's going to be Um And you see that every one of those fields, you can call them whatever you want, but everyone's got a data type. And the most common data type is text there. But the ones that aren't text would be the date of birth, the date, uh, date time, and you can click there and see you click where it's got date time down the bottom and you know it says short date. I might just bring that up. Okay, so you're in design view and for every field that you set up, and I would suggest with your students is that you plan it on paper first. We do that at level three, but it really makes them think about it. What data type should we put for every one of those fields? Now, it is important that you get it right, because if you want to do calculations later, it won't work unless you've got the right data type. So for everyday things, um, name and address is fine, it's just text. 
Phone number, stick to text because you've got brackets. And would you ever need to calculate a phone number? No. Um, cell phone, um, we can put input marks, we'll see if we get time to put that later. Um, obviously, fees paid at the moment, what is that one on? It's on text. And so that's not really right. So if you flip to the right side of that and hit the down arrow, you'll notice the other options that are there. So there's text, memo, number, date, time, currency, auto number, etc., etc. Do you have character numbers? I don't know. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's, yes, no, so you wouldn't do currency here. Yeah, I'm getting confused between oh. one, between um, yeah. the other basis. So if we have a look, if it wasn't an amount, certainly you do currency, but if we go back to the view, fees paid is a simple yes or no. So obviously, definitely we wouldn't make that currency. But there is no option. And for that particular one, and I'll come to that later, we've got a validation text rule. That means that we can only put in yes or no. So if you try to put it in something else, it would be for you. Okay, for this particular one, um, yes, no, if someone's paid their fees or not, you don't yeah. want yes or no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll just leave that there for a moment because I really want you to get used to what you see in front of you. on what they wanted to enter. So we've got data types. We've got field sizes. Now, if you click on first name, where it's got text, just click on the word text beside first name, have a look down the bottom and how many field sizes has it got? <laughs> yeah, so that's the default and that's too big. And it's too large, and especially with a large database, you're just going to make it too large. You want to make that a lot smaller. So let's just make a few changes now. Let's change that to 255. What do you think would be a good size? 25, 30? Yeah, so let's just change that one to 25 and 30. Which one are we on? This is the actual um, field sizes. Okay, we won't do them all, but just do another one. Go to another one like uh, address one and just make a change. So that's Important when you're planning your database, you think yes. about your field sizes. Now that one might be fine at 15. Yeah. Good, okay. Good stuff. Um, then there's things like the formatting, which is your currency and um, dates. Now we don't have a currency, but we do have a date. And you can change the way the date looks. So if you click on the date time and have a look down the bottom, what does it say on the format? Short date. Short date. Now if you click beside short date, you can change that. And you can click the down arrow on the right, and you might say, Look, I prefer medium date. So, just setting all these things right mm -hmm. at the beginning will allow you to have consistency in your database. And that's all the options there are? For date. It's not like spreadsheet where you can. No, uh, you know, yes, you there. might be able to do that. Absolutely, I think you can. Alright, I haven't mentioned it on the, on the um, data show, but you've got a few other things there like caption. So the caption could be, um, for instance, if it had phone number, enter the, enter the phone number, you know, something like that. that you can oh, yeah, not necessary. Mm. Mm -hmm. You've also yeah, got the validation. So enter data of birth and says, yes, something like that. Yeah. So I think that planning component, component is really, um, really important. Finally there, input masks. Um, I don't say input marks are necessary, you have to do them, but it's a very good idea for consistency. So if I come back now to my database, I come back and have a look at it in this view here, I've got brackets, right, and spaces that have already been set up there. Um, so I've put on an input mask. So when I'm entering information, and I come down and enter my person down here, you'll see automatically the formatting has been done for me. So that stays put in the spaces and stays put in the brackets. And that's quite easy to do, and we'll get a chance to do that hopefully at the end of the lesson when we set up our own database. But it's just a matter of clicking here where you were before, mm -hmm. home phone number, and then you'll see input masks here, just like you did with the date, you come to the right, and it steps you through a wizard 
really, really easy to do. Um, so that can be done right at the beginning of your database or even on an existing database. I think I missed something. Yep, so I'll just show you that again. We will do it at the end, later on, but you just click here. This is already here, this is input mask. It's got all these funny brackets of 999, mm -hmm. but if you click there and come to the right, you can have, hang on, I'll say total first. It is actually just a wizard that you run through the phone number. If you want to run through it now, you can. You just hit next. You take out one of those nines. Next. Click the one with the bracket because that's the one I choose. Next and finish. And what it will do is convert all your phone numbers to the same format. I was on the same. Yeah, so you, yeah, so it's getting used to all these <laughs> um, data types and also down the bottom here what can be said. And if I have to say, there won't be any difference. Okay. So, where are we at? We've got a database with one table. We've got two views. One is called data sheet view, which is what it looks like normally. And just remember, you can also switch to design view. And you can change at the beginning of the database or during or the end. There shouldn't be any problem with that. Okay. Um, so yeah, just 
Yeah, for some reason the, the instructions are field name, no spaces, but change the caption. I think that's the best way to say that. Okay. So that's the table of data, and we can add as much data in there. Um, and it's basically the tables are the basic fundamental um, part of the database, really. Now, in general business, if you had a database, your tables would be locked and hidden behind a fucking <coughs> menu. Um, and as a user, you probably wouldn't do anything with the tables. You would probably be manipulating everything through a form. So, let's have a look at form. And what is a form? So if you double click now in your magic bounces form, it doesn't open and you have to close the table. This is a very simple form. Yeah. So, can you see the importance of thinking about your planning? 
with getting your database to work with, with the um, field name, the field type, and, and, and you can lock down these sort of problems that you could have. Now what we could do if you wanted to save that is go back to your table and just... You, you don't have to... Oh, yep. uh, uh, there you go. Yeah. But it has to appear in the table. No, probably because you've got the table open, but if you close yeah. the table and reopened it, probably should. Yeah, oh, I'm going to run this table feed. <laughs> okay, oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, the rest of the team actually didn't pay, it doesn't realise it. Yeah. Well, I would probably be using that without that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, you know, oh, yes. yeah. 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 Yeah
one of, the, one of them is the rule and one of them is the text that will come up if you get it wrong. Mm -hmm. You can see that it's really small. So under text, you put something user friendly like, please enter Christ you can read your right? <laughs> and then when it beeps at you, it gives you a reason why. And the other one was my cell phone. Mine is it's it's and it's not three digits. Mine is it's not
Now down the bottom window, basically said, what fields do you want to include for your query? And for this particular one, we're going to include everything, and everything is the double arrow. So if you don't want to play around, you can put it all back again, you can move one at a time, you can move one back. So you've just got this flexibility of moving what, exactly what you want by using the array of arrows there. If you're going to have a query, say, on day two, mm -hmm. you, you have to have this here. Yes, but you can but turn you it can off show. so it doesn't show. And we're going to talk about that. Yeah. So I'm going to say, first query, let's choose everything and hit the next button. Now, so the first stage of the query is selecting what you want to do it on the table, selecting the fields you want, which we've just done. Third thing, give it a name. Alright, so what are we going to call this one? Um,
Because you don't have a plan. Oh, don't live on that. How did I do this? What if you were sure where it was going to take you? Yeah. I'm just going to say, suddenly our mind goes plant, play out of the game, fizz the water. I have got a last name plant. Um, I've got a few. I've obviously dragged mine somehow. Or you could do it all up. Without even knowing what I'm doing. So that one is quite clever. Do you guys have any other names? I'm sorry. No, that's the only name. The aura is the one underneath. See, they've got the aura. So it's like a mirror. Put it over here. Right, Maria, why have I swapped the pot? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so worse. What's your name? I'm going to do this last time. 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 Yeah, you just probably dragged it by so it. If you click and drag it and put it back, I don't want to be on it. Okay, this is my like a table in Word. I'll come up with a mouse, click and hold, and then you can now yeah, release the mouse. Oh, I got it. And then you can click and hold and it can be here. Yep, yeah. 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 I'm going to put my little mouse in the first one. Okay, uh, try this last one here if you finished. Surname starts with J, but just show certain fields. Hopefully, there's a 
But what would happen if you did, did a range <coughs> to find certain people? It's quite a big range. Is that going to be discovered as well? Oh, how we change the range? So thank you. All the things.